some of you may recall that about a year ago, I did a video on the seedless avocado tree I had growing in my side yard. I had received the budwood from a tree in a park in Lodi, California that was probably over a hundred years old. And the tree only produced seedless avocados. I grafted it onto my tree about two years ago and immediately it produced seedless avocados. I have since learned that most likely that tree was a seedling of the Fuerte uh, avocado and Fuertes are a medium-sized fruit. Um, and yes, I, I, I found out that, that Queen avocado also produces uh, seedless avocados or cukes as they're sometimes called. Let's take a look. But first, if you like this channel, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, notification bell, comments and questions, leave them in the comment section below. I do my best to get back to everybody with their comments and their questions. So let's take a look at this tree back here, my multi-grafted tree, and we'll take a look at the cukes that I have growing on my queen side of the avocado tree. So I do a lot of videos on the multi-grafted avocado tree here in my front yard. And I have, oh, five or six varieties. But as you can see, the most prof proficient in fruiting is the uh, Mexico La Grande. These things are just loaded everywhere. And they're, you know, just in the middle of the hot sun. Today is kind of cooler uh probably only going to get up to 90 but it's a strangely uh cloudy which is very rare in the san joaquin valley in the middle of the summertime but that one is my uh mexicola grande side right there and as you see as i said it's loaded with fruit and doing very well but i also have probably the biggest section of my tree is queen and here it is you can see this guy is probably, oh, I'm six feet tall. I'm gonna say it's 10 feet on this side. And it's in a state of growth. It's amazing that this tree is in the state of growth. Um, it's in the state of growth in the middle of the hottest part of the summer, which is kind of rare. But I have some fruit. Queen is one of my later um, varieties to set fruit. And let me see, I know there's a fruit in here somewhere. There we go. There's a young queen fruit. Queen is an older avocado that um, was popular back in the, uh, I believe in the early 1900s. And it's a giant fruit producing fruit, you know, three and four pounds. Mine was in the 20s, 20 ounces. I harvested a little late, uh, a couple weeks ago I harvested it. And the fruit was tasty, um, but they're giant. Now, one of the surprising things is that this thing, I, I did some research and, and I find out that this thing produces cukes. So I got to looking in amongst the foliage and I found some, where are we at? Uh, let's see, oh, there we go. Look at this, little cuke. Now the cool thing about this is with the Fuerte cukes, the, the fruit is not nearly as big as queen and so uh, these cukes should be produced very large uh, seedless avocados. Uh, for those of you that do not know, cukes are, um, they think that cukes are unfertilized, uh, unfertilized fruit. Uh, when you cut them open, there is a slight remnant of a seed coat, but there's no seed in it. Uh, I've seen some pictures online and the fruit are pretty good size, you know, eight, 10 ounces with no seed in it. So I will be doing a video down the road as these things mature. Um, but in the meantime, that's my cukes. There's several on there. I have to get up on the ladder to, to point them out. But I also wanted to show you guys uh, the big black. He's doing pretty good. Look at these guys. Already as big as a bacon avocado and it still has compared to uh, the tiny size of the, um, well, here, here uh, yeah, they side by side. There's a big black in Mexico La Grande. I have a lot of Mexico La Grandes, probably over a hundred. And I did some, uh, some grafting 
I wanted to show you guys did some grafting in the middle of summertime. I don't know if you can see it, but right up close to the edge, it's pushing through the uh, grafting tape. So you can grow uh, graft even in the middle of the summertime here in Modesto, California. But you do want to do make sure it's shaded because we've been in the hundreds. <laughs> There's all the Mexicola Grande from the Mexicola Grande side. And it's finally starting to send up some growth. So there's a, there you have it. There's a seedless. This thing set only about, oh, probably two or three weeks ago. And if everything goes correct, uh, goes good, this should be a nice, big, edible, seedless fruit. So if you like this channel, the Tropical Garden Guy channel, you hit that like, subscribe, notification bell. Comments and questions, leave them in the comment section below. I do my best to get back to everybody with their comments and their questions. You have a wonderful day.